Hey friends and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today we're doing a whole house clean with me. So if you need some serious cleaning motivation, you have found your video. If this is the first time you're here, please make sure and hit that red subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of my subscriber community. I upload a couple of videos every week and I usually have some cleaning videos in there, some vlogs, sometimes try on hauls. Also, I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up just because it helps my videos a ton here on YouTube with the algorithm and all. All that stuff so if you could give this video a thumbs up that would be super amazing and one more thing before we get more into the cleaning but I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is a collab with one of my dear friends Shelby it's so funny because Shelby was one of my subscribers here on this channel and we became friends she befriended me and she convinced me to join red aspen so she is kind of like the one who trained me how to do everything with the nails and all that stuff and then we became friends and i convinced her to start a youtube channel so we both have had a big impact on each other's lives but um, I'm super excited because she is going to be posting a cleaning video today as well. So I'm going to have her video linked down in the description below and make sure you go check her out. Let her know that Katie sent you. She is brand new here on YouTube, but she is killing it. She's been posting a couple videos every single week and I'm so proud of her and she's doing really well. So if you guys could go over and give her a subscribe, I love supporting, I mean, I love supporting my friends in general, but especially if it's somebody who's new and just starting out, I think it's so important that we encourage them to keep going and all that stuff. So if you could go give her a subscribe, that would be super amazing. You and me are moving. Make sure we get through this. Let's just keep on dancing as one. So I got a shot of the countertops and how dirty they were, but when I looked at the footage, I feel like you couldn't see it in the shot. So um, I promise you these were dirty sinks and dirty counters. <laughs> they were nasty, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then I'm gonna be using this Dollar Tree glass cleaner, which it's so funny because it actually has always worked really well for me but that's an old bottle like really old bottle and I think maybe it's gone bad or something because later on in the day I went and looked and the mirrors had this like greasy look to them so normally I would recommend that cleaner but I just have to recommend Windex over and over again because Windex is the best glass cleaner that I have ever used <laughs> so anyways I had to like well let's be honest Sean went back through and recleaned the mirrors for me because I was so frustrated. I was like, I'm so tired of cleaning. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, now I'm just heading into the laundry room and getting things switched over in there.
So I'm just going to be using my Gain Fireworks to um, use it as the scent. I think it's called Scent Booster. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but I love this stuff. I really like using all of my Gain products, obviously. You can see them all here. That's my fabric softener, so I'm going to get that going in the load. And then um, I believe I use the Gain Lavender scent. Yeah, it's the lavender um, aroma something. But yeah, I love these products. I feel like they just smell so good and so fresh and like I just keep adding more and more Gain products to my collection. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I do love them. Like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless so I hadn't wiped things down in the laundry room since, well, actually I've never wiped things down in the laundry room because when we moved in, everything was clean, but now it is definitely dusty. And so I'm just going to be wiping down the inside of the laundry room and then behind the door, there's like a countertop. So I'm going to wipe that down as well. I'm going crazy. Like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. So now we're headed into the messiest part of the house and this is kind of like my Saturday tradition is to clean up the boys room. Honestly, it's both of them. They both are just super messy and I don't know, I just, I don't even know. I need to work with them on how to keep the room clean. I need to, I don't know. So like a couple weeks ago, I told them that they needed to start cleaning their room every Saturday with me so that I could start teaching them how to do it. But obviously I didn't do it this Saturday. But um, yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. I, I feel like this is something I really wanna focus on this summer is getting my kids um, used to like chores. Like I have them make their beds and I don't really know what else, but I feel like they can be doing so much more to help. And we have a lot more space to clean these days. So I feel like I could use the help. So I got to get organized and figure out how to do that. Any, um, any ideas or whatever, I would love to hear it down in the comments. I would say that I'm a clean as I go type of a person. I don't really let things get like crazy messy, but when it comes to the kids' rooms, I let them get really messy and then clean them like once a week just because I'm not in them very often, so I don't think about it. And then when I am putting them to bed, I'm just like, ugh, I'm not gonna deal with this right now, so. <laughs> It tends to get backed up on me, but um, 
with the rest of the house, I am not, like the other day in one of my cleaning videos, someone said, it looks like you're cleaning a clean house. And I was like, yeah, it probably does. I mean, it was like dusty and dirty, but there wasn't a lot of clutter all over the place. Like how there is in this room right here, there's lots of clutter, but um, you know, like downstairs, it's just not very full of clutter just because, I don't know, the clutter's upstairs, I think. So anyways, I don't know guys, I'm just trying my hardest to keep this house clean. <laughs> So I just picked up some hangers from Target recently for the kids because we have gotten so many hand-me-down clothes that we just don't have enough space or enough hangers. We have enough space to hang them, but we don't have enough hangers to hang them. So uh, I think because in the last condo, we just didn't have enough space. So I didn't have, that was basically like whatever I could fit in that closet was as much clothes as we could have. And then I would just declutter everything else if it didn't fit. But in this house we have space. And so I just needed to get more hangers. So that was what I was doing just then. So lately we've been talking about getting rid of this bunk bed. So I would love to hear your opinion in the comments. Um, it has like a couple of like really small cracks and then it's just like destroyed. If you remember when we moved, I showed you the, like the up close of how just like destroyed this thing is. So we've been talking about getting separate twin beds, but I'm not really sure. I'm like, I should just paint it and get it done with. I know I've been talking about it for forever, but um, if you could choose for your kids or if you had kids, what would you choose? Would you choose a bunk bed or two twin beds like side by side? So now I'm just heading into the kids bathroom and I'm going to be spraying this down with Lysol and cleaning the mirrors again with my Dollar Tree cleaner that ended up not working. So um, it's so funny because the Dollar Tree cleaner totally looked like it worked really well but then once time went by it started to get really like greasy and smudgy looking so I stopped using it. Okay, so I keep having this weird thing happen to my wrist. Do you see it happen right there? I like walked into the other room because it was in so much pain. I don't know what it is, but it's my right wrist and if I like push too hard in a certain way, it starts, it like feels like shooting pain going down my wrist into my arm. It is the weirdest thing. I would love to hear if anyone knows what that is or if if you've had something like that that you have experienced as well. 
I don't know what it is, but it is so annoying. It makes me feel like I'm getting old and <laughs> I think I am. So now that I am all finished upstairs, I'm gonna be moving downstairs and I actually just got Love Meg's new cleaning product in and I was so excited to try this stuff out. I've been listening to her talk about it um, for a few videos now. So you basically just take the concentrate and put it into the bottle and it comes with three concentrates or you could get the one with six concentrates and then you just basically put the bottle together and it's ready to go. So I came out here and you can see the dirt layered on to my rocking chairs and the little tables that are out there. So I wanted to attack those things with the Love Make multi-surface spray. And I am so obsessed with how good it smells. Like she talked about how good it smells and it's like you just never know because you can't smell it through the internet but oh my gosh it smells so good you guys like i loved using this stuff and the smell definitely lingers for a long time which i love that too so if you've been thinking about getting your hands on some of the love made multi-surface spray i definitely recommend it So this part of the video is going to be super satisfying because you can see me wiping away all of the dirt. Oh my goodness, what has it been? Two months of living here and I haven't wiped these things down once. So wow, it like definitely needed it. And it was so funny because that morning that I filmed this, my parents had spent the night the night before and we were all sitting out here on rocking chairs and I just kept looking around thinking like, Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. It's so dirty out here. So anyways, I finished up those chairs and loved the Love Made Cleaner. And then I cleaned up these chairs over here on the left. I have four of those rocking chairs. And then I was just gonna be heading in and cleaning up the door because there was dust and dirt all over it.
So because I loved that spray so much, like the smell was just so refreshing. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this going inside my house. So I went inside and cleared off all the counters and um, my island and all that stuff and um, went ahead and sprayed everything down and it smelled so good. Even Sean was talking about it. He was like, wow, this like really smells super good. So I've been thinking about putting all of our fruit into like a big fruit bowl and put it in the pantry, but I don't know if that's like weird or is that a thing? Um, I just feel like I don't love the way that it looks out there on the countertop and I always thought that I would keep my countertop like completely sparse and just like nothing on it. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm like, will I not see the fruit and then I'll forget to eat it or will it be fine? I'm not really sure. So weigh in in the comments what you think I should do either put the fruit in the pantry or leave the fruit on the countertop So like I said earlier in the video, it's usually like decently clean down here. It definitely gets messy, like clutterish down um, down here during meal times, but I tend to clean up after every single meal just to kind of like try and keep dishes out of the sink and stuff like that. But um, now I'm just gonna be taking my Dawn dish soap and I always get the clear one for my little like dish dispenser what is it called? Dish soap dispenser that I always have out on my counter. Um, so I like having clear in there just because it's more of like a neutral color. So yeah. Okay, so this next little hack or DIY combination is baking soda and vinegar. And I actually needed a little bit more than what I had. I was like down to the very last part of both of these, like the bottle and the box. So I was trying my best to get it to go everywhere. But um, what you do is just put the baking soda down and this is really good for stainless steel sinks. And then um, I put the vinegar on top and it actually starts bubbling, which is really fun to watch. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, this is super satisfying. Um, I should have got a close up shot of it because it looks really cool. But 
I basically just poured the rest of the vinegar into the sink and then I grabbed a sponge, got it a little bit wet and just started scrubbing and it really makes the sink super shiny and it helps a lot because we have hard water here. So if you have hard water and stainless steel, this is like an amazing combination. So the kitchen was all clean, everything was super shiny. I love drying out my sink after I wash it just cause it makes it so dang shiny. I love it. <laughs> um, but next up I'm gonna be just like sweeping and, um, and then Sean's grabbing the Dyson vacuum and he's gonna be helping me um, vacuum the downstairs because I needed to mop. And now I'm gonna be filling up my O Cedar Spin Mop with some super hot water. And you will see that I'm trying something new and I actually did not like how it turned out. Um, I watched people do this. I've seen multiple people do this on TikTok. So I had to try it and it smells good. It looks like it's gonna work really well. But then once I got it, mopped on the floors and it dried I did not like the way that it looked once it dried so I do think that I was supposed to add some fabric softener so I don't know if that would have made a difference but I've heard so many people on TikTok talk about this combination of like Tide the powder and then fabric softener and how good it makes your house smell and I was like oh my gosh I would love to do that so I wanted to try it but I don't like the way that it finished like once it dried it just looked splotchy and streaky and it just it didn't look good. So Sean actually helps me a ton with the cleaning. There will be days where he will just go to town on the house and just clean, clean, clean and clean the windows and do all kinds of things that need to be done just because I have had a hard time honestly keeping up with the house. So I've been doing my best with the time that I have but it's definitely difficult with three young kids and you know, we've been having virtual school for a while and it's just been intense. So <laughs> I'm not complaining because seriously, I would way rather have 
too much to do as far as a house to clean than like how it was before when we didn't have enough space. So I'm not complaining. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm still working on a routine and I'm super thankful for Sean who helps me with the cleaning. So thank you guys for watching another video with me and if you made it all the way to the end here's a virtual high five for you and thanks so much for making it all the way to the end make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and don't forget to head over and check out Shelby's channel I'll make sure and have her video linked down in the description box and let her know that Katie sent you and I believe she's almost at 100 subscribers so if we could get her to 100 subscribers today that would be so cool so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys